Hi guys! In this video, we will draw Casita from Encanto. There is so much going on, so it seems hard to draw, but they are mostly just rectangles, triangles, and circles. So if you just follow my instruction, you will be able to finish the sketch in less than 20 minutes. But this is an advanced level compared to my other drawings, so I recommend 5th grade and up to draw this drawing. Now without further ado, let's get started. At the bottom, let's draw a straight horizontal line. We will draw three rectangles, so divide the lines by three, make the marks. The height is going to be about here because it's a three-story building, so make the mark again. And let's draw the rectangle from the center by connecting those dots. Let's draw the right house. The right house is going to be a little shorter, so draw a rectangle that's a little shorter in height. And do the same thing on the left side. Now let's draw the roof, so extend the line from the top of the rectangle on both sides. And the height is going to be about here, so make the marks. And draw the diagonal lines on both sides. And horizontal line at top to finish the roof. Let's move on to the right house. Extend the line a little. The height is going to be a little shorter, so draw a diagonal line to only about here and draw the straight horizontal line to finish. Let's move to the left house and do the same thing. Now let's draw the arch door at the center house. First, draw a half circle at the top and draw the topless rectangle. Now let's draw the door frame. So draw the exact same curve outside of the door like this. Now let's draw a small squished rectangle at the bottom on both sides. They should be a little wider than the door frame. Now let's draw four vertical lines underneath the door frame like this. Now let's draw the staircases by drawing two horizontal lines like this and draw a small circle on the left side of the door for the doorknob. Now let's draw the cutouts at the top. So draw a horizontal line at the top and vertical lines in that half circle. Let's draw the door details next to the doorknob. So draw a skinny rectangle and two horizontal lines in the middle. Now the door is done, so let's draw the windows on the right house. Let's draw two small rectangles like this. Left window is open but right window is closed so draw one vertical line on the right window to show it is closed. Now let's go to the left house. It has one door and one window so draw a tall rectangle here for the door. A small rectangle next to it for the window. Now let's draw the second floor. Right above the left window, make a mark here. And make a mark again on the left side above the window. The height is going to be about here, similar size to the first floor. Now draw a wide rectangle connecting those dots. Now let's draw the roof. The height is similar to the first floor, so make the mark here. Just like before, extend the line and draw a diagonal line.
On the right side, there will be a tall building blocking the way, so draw a vertical line straight up to the same level and draw a horizontal line to finish the roof. Now let's draw a balcony that sticks out on the left side. Draw a medium sized square first. And draw a roof on top like this. Now let's draw the railing, so draw a horizontal line in the middle and vertical lines under it like this. And draw a small square on the right side for the window. Right next to it, let's draw another window, so draw a small rectangle. two vertical lines inside and two small triangles at the top and bottom for the design. Now let's draw a big square next to it for the big balcony. And draw the railing like this just like before. and a small rectangle for the window here and the railing at the bottom. There's a one more balcony door here. This time draw a tall, narrow rectangle. And railing here. Now let's draw another building on the right side. Let's draw a tall and skinny rectangle that's a little taller than the roof. And draw a small roof at the top like this. Now let's draw another building next to it. So extend the line a little like this and draw another vertical line above the small window and finish the square. The next building is a little shorter so make a mark here about a halfway and draw a rectangle right above the big balcony. The next building is a little distance and shorter, so draw a vertical line up to here and draw another vertical line from the angle part of the roof and finish the rectangle. Now let's draw the roofs at the top. The right one has a triangle roof, so draw a triangle that's a little wider than the building like this. The middle one has a regular roof, so draw it like the other ones, but cut off on the right. Left one has a regular full roof. Let's draw the chimney, so draw a small skinny rectangle first and small triangle at the top. Now let's start drawing the windows again. This one has two arch windows, so draw two windows like this.
and these windows are open so draw two small rectangles on both sides like this on each window. For this house, draw a simple small rectangle in the middle and draw a vertical line in the middle. And draw three small horizontal lines on both sides for the blinds. Now this house has an arch door, so draw a square first and a half circle at the top and a vertical line in the middle. Draw four small horizontal lines for the blinds. And right above the door, draw a small circle for the window. At the top, there is a tiny upper room, so draw a horizontal line and a half circle over the window and continue the straight line. And draw two tiny squares on both sides for the windows. Right next to the roof, let's draw a railing. So draw two horizontal lines and vertical lines inside the box. And draw a rectangle. A vertical line in the middle and a three small horizontal lines on both sides. And on the second floor, there is an arched window, so draw a horizontal line first at the same level with the railing on the left and draw the arched window like this. And draw a horizontal line, a vertical line, and draw the blinds. And let's draw the railing a little wider than the window like this. On the right side, there's another balcony, so right above the roof, draw a small rectangle like this and draw the railing. Now on the left side, the first floor, there is a small back house, so draw a vertical line here. And connect it to the main house like this. Now, the house is done, so let's draw the palm tree on the right side. So on the ground, let's draw a spiky line like this for the grass. And it's pretty tall, so make a mark here next to the balcony and draw a curvy line to the grass like this. And do one more here on the right. Now, we are drawing the leaves, so draw a diagonal line to the left bottom like this and come back up with a curvy line like this. And we are going to go this way to the left, so draw a curvy line and come back up. Now this time we will go to the top right, so draw a curvy line and come back down like this. And this leaf will go here um, to the right, so from the dot, draw a curvy line to connect to the leaf and another curvy line that goes down a little. Now it's the final leaf. It goes about here, so draw a curvy line and come back up and finish the leafy part of the palm tree. I think the trunk should be a little skinnier, so I'm correcting it now. If you got your palm tree tall and skinny, then you don't have to change anything. Now let's start drawing the beautiful flowers on the walls. Start from the bottom right corner, draw tiny scallops like this, and go over the edge of the wall. When you are done, erase a straight line.
and do the same thing on the left corner. There's a small tree next to the door, so draw a tiny cloud and a two curvy lines at the bottom to finish the tree. Let's draw another tiny scallops at the corner here. And another one on the other side. And erase the wall. There is another flower hanging down from the roof, so draw scallops from the left top side of the roof. Go around. And come down close to the tree. Go around the door. And come back up. And erase the roof inside. Now let's draw the flower at the balcony here. So come down and come back up and erase the railing inside. Now there's a huge flowers covering the right wall. So draw scallops go all the way down. Stop at the roof and come back up, partially going through the window. And at the roof, go to the side and go down again to the second floor roof. And come back up as partially covering the building next to it. Erase the walls and roofs inside the flowers. Let's do the one last flower on the left roof. Draw just a simple cloud shape and erase the roof inside the flower. Now your casita drawing is done. But if you want to add more details and make your drawing look more full and complete, you can add this roof details. So draw the scallops at the bottom like this and add a vertical straight lines at the top. You can do this to all the roofs like this. Wow, your casita drawing came out so cute and pretty. If you like to see how I colored my casita drawing, please check out my shorts video. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and check out my other drawing tutorials. Thank you again. Bye!